Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another unboxing and today's package is absolutely perfect because today is the International Champagne Day. Uh, yeah, I think it's just called that, International Day of Champagne. We actually have two of those, <laughs> both of them are in uh, October. So the first International Day of Champagne is the third Friday in October. And the second one is the fourth Friday in, in October, and they're both, both approved. Uh, so I'm first going to show you uh, what I bought, and then I'm going to tell you my complaint story as always. I got this package a couple of days ago, but I haven't uh, opened it until now because I just haven't had the time. So... First, we have the 2010 Dom Parignon. And uh, 2010 is always going to be in the shadow of 2008, which is a great year, like one of the best in 30 years or something. But I think 2010 is going to be very special as well. This box is actually new for me. So how... All right, so this is the gift box. Uh, the box that I'm used to is the standard one that you just open up. Uh, so this is the gift box, but I like this. We have a brief story about the year 2010, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, but about 2010, the winter was very cold. The spring was very dry. The summer was very hot without any rain. And then in like mid-September, no, mid-August, mid-August, they got two months of rain in two days. So very few champagne houses managed to save any grapes um, to make champagne. But Dom Parignon took the best that they could save from the water, they, they, they call it saved, saved from the water. And those grapes were so good that we got a vintage year from that. So this is the 2010 Dom Parignon. And um, the reviews has been great. I mean, 95 out of 100, 98 out of 100. So I was curious about the 2010. And about the complaint story, it is that I wanted to buy 2010. Here in Sweden, you can only buy champagne from one um, company, store, whatever. And the computer says, the stock says that they had 2010 in stock. I went there and they had no 2010 at all. They had 2008 instead. And as I said, I don't mind 2008. 2008 are great. So I bought one of those, but I was curious about the 2010. I drove to two other, Sustain Blogget is what is called here in Sweden, where you buy liquor, where you said that they had them in stock, they had none of them. A couple of days later, I call the support, whatever, and they say that the first place that I were at had four bottles of 2010 and four bottles of 2008. But when I was there, I told them, check the storage. And they said, we had no, no, no 2010 at all. Uh, but now I have it. And all thanks to the store that I'm going to mention later. So, very nice gift box. It feels uh, a lot cheaper uh, than the old one, I must say. The old box were uh, thicker and uh, a nicer feeling. This is paper. The old one was also used paper, but it felt better. So 2010 Dom Parignon. Really curious. I'm gonna probably gonna do a review video uh, when I enjoy that one. 
And also here in Sweden, when I bought the 2008 bottle, uh, I did not get any kind of box at all, which I really do think that you should get with the Dom Perignon. But the Dom Perignon here in Sweden is 190 euro, 180 euro. And when I started to drink champagne, which was quite late in life, uh, they were like 70 euro, 80 euro. And then we have this one, Bollinger, uh, the James Bond edition. Uh, special cuvee, uh, no year or nothing super special, but the price isn't bad at all either. I believe this is under 60 euro, 55, 60 euro. And uh, this were supposed to be released last year uh, together with the, with the movie, No Time to Die. But uh, they waited. Uh, with the movie and the waited with the champagne as well. Bollinger is the champagne that James Bond drinks and I really enjoy Bollinger. Uh, I think it's sort of underrated. It's one of the biggest champagne houses. So I, I can't say that it's underrated, but because of the money uh, and I see people buying Moet. Moet is the favorite champagne in Sweden. I'm not super happy with, with Moet. Uh, so the Bollinger is is my is my go-to choice when I used to have something. I used to want to have something just to just, just for fun, because even if you don't have the James Bond edition with the three icons, I'm guessing it's like five euros less or something. So the money for the James Bond edition uh, isn't much more than the standard bottle. So here we have the three icons, as they say it. We have 007 James Bond, the Aston Martin DB5, and Bollinger. And we have, uh, I'm gonna show you a close up, um, some 007 um, marks on it. I really like Bollinger. I like it so much that just talking about it makes my mouth watering. I can really taste that sour, sour taste. I really like Bollinger. Dom Pagnon is great, wonderful champagne. Um, the sad thing I feel is that people have made it that Dom Pagnon is something that you only drink when you celebrate. And that's, that's, that's too bad. Uh, I really like Dom Pagnon. I don't think it's worth the money that it costs at the moment, 180, 190 euros. That's a bit much. But compared to Cristal that is here in Sweden, 250 euro, Cristal is not good at all. Not my taste at all. So, Don Pagnon, Bollinger. Yeah. So, about the complaint story, it was about the 2008 and 2010 deal I had at the store plus uh, this bottle when it was released or before it was was released I had it uh, so I would get a notification uh, when it was released so I got the mail where it says dropping in 17 hours or something and uh, when the release time was there was no change at all on the site. When I called in, they told me that they were sold out instantly. But the company that I bought it from, called Wild Me Wien, is uh, translated to crazy about wine. They had them both in stock. Uh, as I said, the 2010 Champagne, uh, or Dom Perignon in general here in Sweden, we don't get the gift box. Here at Wilhelm Wien, you could buy it both with box, without box. They had a 2008 and 2010 and a bunch of other years. Uh, this one they also had in stock. They still have in stock a week later. And I saved 15 euro by ordering from this site. I got it home, delivered to my door three days or three working days after I put, uh, put the order in. And yeah. I'm really happy with it. I'm not sponsored from them or of them at all. Just happy with, with their service. So Wild Me Wien, I'm gonna link that in my blog post probably. 
cheaper home delivery free shipping if you buy over 100 euro and they had a bunch of champagne in stock it's a danish company and danish people are happy about alcohol in general but they have some special stores about champagne i have done one single champagne video earlier and that was also from driving to copenhagen uh, there is a store that specializes only in champagne and i bought a bunch of 2008 I, I guess I have one of those left but I bought a bunch of 2008 champagne good times so um, that's it for this video just an unboxing happy champagne day to you even if you see it today or next Friday and uh, what kind of champagne do you prefer um, I know that champagne is an acquired taste most people that I uh, offer or give uh, expensive champagne to don't like it they like the cheaper ones that is bubble wine more or less thanks for watching let me know what champagne you prefer and uh, have you tasted the 2010 would you like to see me a video talking about the crazy things that I eat with champagne is not at all what you think and it's not at all what people usually eat together with champagne i have my own things thanks for watching once again and uh happy weekend